Welcome back everybody to Megacraft episode 6. Now today we are actually going to do a little bit different from what we've been doing on this uh, this valley here. I just wanted to show you guys what I've done on the floors here though. I actually uploaded the video of episode 5 today so I haven't gotten to read all of your guys' comments. But this is some of the things that I thought of along with uh, some things that were commented. I know this uh, quartz and nether brick was commented. That does look pretty cool. That's one of my favorites. And I really do like this right here, the lapis and the, and the, what's it called? Quartz. Lapis and quartz. I think that looks really good too, but that's all the quartz I have, and I went mining for about an hour and wasn't able to get any more than that. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use quartz. I do like redstone though, but I don't think I'll be able to have enough redstone for a little while. I do want to save it for other things that I want to do. But today, we are not going to work on that since I want to allow a little bit more time to read your guys' comments. Maybe we'll come back to it at the end of the episode. It usually takes me a couple days to make these episodes. But what we're going to do for now is, as you guys see, I am not wearing any armor. I took off my armor and I made a fresh set of armor. But that's not all. I've got a brand new sword. If you take a look in here, I've enchanted four different swords trying to get the one that I've wanted. And I have not gotten it so far. Except now I finally have. Boom! Smite 4, looting 3, knockback 2. What I was looking for is actually looting 3. And I'll explain that to you guys in just a minute. The other thing is actually my bow. Now I didn't enchant this, what I did was I actually combined all of these different bows at the skeleton farm and I made a power 5 punch 2. It was a little bit more expensive but I thought it was pretty cool. So it's kind of a Franken bow, it's been you know put together by a ton of different bows and I was able to make a power 5 and punch 2. So those will be really helpful for going into the nether. As you see I've got 4 fire resistance potions and I decided to bring along a speed potion 2 as well. So we are going to the nether and let me tell you why in just one second. I will meet you guys down at the skeleton spawner where I did a little bit of a change down there, not too drastic or anything, but I just want to show you guys that real quick and put it to use. Alright, here we are at the skeleton spawner and skadoosh! I got an enchanting table. I still have my other one, but I decided to make a, a second one here so that I can do level 30 enchantments as well. Uh, what I wanted to do though is just throw level 1 enchantments down on these uh, this stuff and I'm going to throw some torches around real quick. I wonder if I have some coal down here while I'm waiting. I do want to make sure I bring some extra torches to the nether when I go. But while we're waiting for these skeletons to spawn, I guess now is the perfect time to explain what we are going to be doing this episode. I am sick of basically mining out my entire valley one block by one block it is taking forever even if with my efficiency five pickaxe it's taking forever wow are these guys not spawning in maybe they didn't i just didn't see but it's taking forever and what i want to do is i've been saving up on iron i've been mining and collecting iron from the iron golem farm i want to make a haste to beacon now what i need for that is i actually need to get some wither skulls and I need to get uh, just wither skulls actually so that I can get another star and then I can make a beacon. I have enough iron blocks to actually make the full size beacon. So once I get that set up I'll be able to put a haste 2 on it and basically with my uh, efficiency 5 pickaxe I can insta mine all of the stone that's in my valley. So that'll be really really useful. Wow is this skeleton spawner not working very well? I guess I'll just let this run for a little bit and uh, I'll catch you guys in a sec. But like I was saying, um, haste 2, I just need that to make a instant mine for all of the stone. So I'm going to wait right here for just a minute and let these skeletons spawn. Alright, I've got a couple skeletons here. I didn't wait too long, but uh, let's just punch these guys. It'll probably be enough to get to level 1 here. So let's enchant a chest plates, just a level 1 enchantment. There we go, protection 1. I'm just doing this because it's really cheap and it, it does make a pretty good difference as well. There we go, there's another level. Do my leggings, I guess. Protection 1, that's perfect. I don't really need too good of a enchantment anyways on it. So let's do these. Level 1 maybe, can we get one? There we go, protection 1, perfect. And hopefully I get protection 1 on my helmet too. That would be pretty sweet, so let's see. Oh, come on, level 1, level 1. There we go, protection 1. Wow, full protection 1 armor. That's actually really good armor. That's about as good as a, a diamond set that's not enchanted. So 
All right, it looks like we are all set. Let's go grab a few more things and then we are going to jump into the nether. So I'm gonna climb up this stairway, which is such a pain to climb up. I need to really fix this around sometime. And I'll meet you guys in my storage room. Oh, there is an enderman right here. Do I dare take him out? I'm gonna be safe about this. If I put some blocks just like this, then I can kill him. Oh jeez, he's already coming after me. I should get a, a pearl from this though because it's actually, I've got uh, looting, so I, I'm more than likely going to get a pearl from this. Except for I have knockback on this, which is kind of a pain. There we go, I got a pearl, sweet. I think that's my sixth pearl, if I'm not mistaken. I guess I can check really quick. Now I want to grab some, uh, some extra blocks here because I'm going to need to make some bridges and I don't want these to break. I don't want to do it out of netherrack and have the gas shooting and break my bridge. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's. Oh, what just happened? That was weird. Um, let's put my. Yep, that's my sixth one. So I'm gonna put my Ender Pearl in there. And what else was I wanting to get? I wanted to make some more torches. That's right. So let's make some more torches real quick. I actually have some sticks, so I don't have to make some. So let's just make these guys into torches. I don't really need a crafting table. So there we go. Whoa, my gosh! I got some lag there. All right, and we are good. Let me throw that in there, and let me double check everything. I think that's everything I want to bring along with me. I've got my arrows, I've got a pickaxe, I've got my sword. I think we are good. Let's get going to the nether. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to go into that same nether fortress that I went into last time. I want to go to that other one that uh, was over across the lava lake that... It was really hard to see, I don't think you guys were even able to see it with my render distance. But if I explore that way, I know there's a fortress there, and it's barely even been loaded up. Just tiny little edge, so I know, you know, there should be a lot of new generation throughout it. And I should be able to actually get, uh... Um, I should be able to get... What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh, some chests inside, since in 1.6 they actually spawn with chests. So I'm hoping I can find some chests with some name tags and things like that, and maybe even some diamonds. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and check, and I'll meet you guys over at the edge where it's kind of close. This is the tunnel that I used to have my nether portal at. It used to be right here. If you go straight up, that's where my new nether portal is. See, look, this is the old one, but mine is just straight up from there, basically. So I'm going to come out here. Now the nether fortress is... Oh, jeez, move, pig man. I'm gonna hit you. Now, the nether fortress is somewhere over there. I want to try and get there without killing any pigmen or having them kill me. So I'm gonna be safe and just drink one of these potions right now, just in case. Because I don't want to fall in lava and get owned, so I'll have that just in case I get knocked off and fall into lava. And there you can see, oh, that's a blaze spawner over there. Ooh, this is really dangerous. I'm gonna build a little bit of a walkway here. And I'm probably going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch all the way getting over there. So I'll see you guys when I'm pretty much there. I can't resist. I have to mine up some of this quartz anyway. Alright, here we go. We're pretty much there and there's a freaking gas shooting at me. So I'm going to try and take him out. Oh, what the? Where'd my arrow just go? I don't know. Come on. Oh, man. Right there. Right there. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so there is a blaze spawner right here. Let's hop in there and just start kicking some blaze butt. Holy crap, I knocked him back far. I don't even have to worry about the blazes if I have fire resistance, because they don't do like any damage whatsoever if you have fire resistance. So I'm going to hold on to that blaze spawner. I may want to make a blaze farm. Oh, look, there's one over here too, straight across. Oh, we've got a customer. These guys are who we're looking for. We need some wither skulls, and these guys are perfect. Now, i got to be careful when I hit them, because I have knockback on. Oh, jeez. They're kicking my butt. Holy crap. Wow, I should have brought, brought some regeneration potions. Oh, man. Holy crap. I, yeah, I definitely should have brought regeneration potions. Oh, man, I have two hearts. I did not expect that. I thought they were a lot, you know, easier to kill. Or they don't hurt you as much, I guess. I'm going to explore around here and then just do some cuts and kill some wither skeletons. Alright, I see some more that just spawned over here, so let's try and take these guys out. Where 
is that gas shooting me? Die! Ooh, one shot. Get oh, is that a gas tier that it just dropped? Oh, my sword. Oh my gosh, I almost threw my sword off the edge. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get that gas tier real quick. If I can, that'd be amazing. I don't have any of them yet, I don't think. And I don't think I did. Well, I can see that there's tons more space over this way, so I want to go explore more of this uh, fortress down here. See what I can find. Ooh. Suck to fall down in there. Oh, I just got one. First nether skull. I've been doing this for about 20 minutes or so already, so it's going to take a little while. But I've got one of them. I'm just running around. Hopefully they spawn in and out. And oh, Come on, two more. Two more. Oh, I just got number two, and I am in deep crap right now. I'm getting shot in every direction. I don't know if I can get the third one, though, because I'm all out of potions. I just barely drank my last two potions, and I need to get one more. So let's see if I can get that in the next seven minutes or so. I just found a chest inside of here, and ooh, a saddle. Nice. Oh, look, another chest. And nothing really. I guess flint and steel. Ooh, look at that hidden chest. Oh my gosh. Diamond horse armor. And then two more saddles and some gold. That's a good chest. Now my fire resistance is wearing off. I've got about 20 seconds left of it. And there's a few skeletons. Oh, I just killed them actually. I wonder if they dropped a skull by chance. Oh, come on. Tell me there's a skull over here. Alright, you know what? I just need to get out of here. I think I'm about done. I need to run home, make some more fire resistance potions, and then come back for a final skull. Alright, I kind of made my way here. I'm just going to go for this drop. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, only four hearts. Alright. Okay, here is my home, kind of. I just need to go up into the roof of the nether and get back home. I'm gonna brew some potions and I will meet you guys back over here in a sec. Woo! All right, I'm back. I got all my potions. I got three more potions and one more speed potion. And let's go ahead and start traversing. I'm gonna have this in hand in case I fall, I can hurry and drink it. Just in case. I dropped off all my other stuff, though, that we got. We got a whole lot of stuff. I got, like, 17 blaze rods and then the two uh, wither skeleton skulls. So I put those in just to be safe and then put, you know, I had, like, a stack of bones from all the skeletons that I killed plus, like, a stack of coal, too. It's pretty insane. But let's get over here. Looks like we should be good now. And I want to wait until I'm over uh, into the nether fortress before I drink my potions so I can have extra time on them. All right. Here we go, drink my fire potion and drink my speed potion. Let's see if we've got any uh, skeletons around here. Oh, we got another customer here. Let's see if he'll be the lucky one, the first time back into the nether. Let's see if he'll be it. Oh, wow. Oh, geez, he's gonna like kill me. One sec. I gotta back up here for a second. Oh, one shot with the bow. I guess he was not the lucky customer. Darn it. Ooh, there's several skeletons down there. Let's see if I can get one. And I'm still good on fire resistance. Alright, let's see if these guys will come. So we got four skeletons over here. Take them out one at a time. There's one. He's a no-go. There's a guy down there. Two, three, still nothing. There was another guy. Where's that other guy? There he is. Let's see if he'll come after me. And 
and still nothing. Wow. Ooh, I just got two gas tiers from killing two different ghasts right away. That's pretty sweet. I'm still looking for the final wither skull though, so I can't find it anywhere. Yes, I got one. <laughs> The third one, and I'm almost out of my fire resistance, so I'm gonna go home and put this where it's safe. Alright, well we are back, and I just barely put all my loot inside of the chest. I've got my three Wither Skeleton Skulls right here. I'm so happy I was able to get those, and I've got, you know, I got some good amount of coal. If you check, take a look in here, I've got more Blaze Rods and Magma Creams. I've got two Gas Tears, which is nice. Uh, so everything is pretty good. Now what I need to do is actually kill the Wither. Now, I want, since this is the first wither we're going to be killing in this uh, world, I want to make it somewhat eventful. I want to do uh, a little dual battle with Royal Desmo, so I'm going to wait until he's online, he's able to record. It'll probably be tomorrow, and uh, we'll, we'll kill the wither together. So, it's going to be a cut for you guys, but it'll probably be a day for me, and uh, we're going to kill the wither. You guys can watch, this will be in this episode. And we will set up a beacon with haste 2 and try it out on here. So hope you guys enjoy our little wither battle coming right up. Whoop. Well guys, for an epic boss battle like this, we are going to need some epic armor. Now my armor is not going to cut it, so I've just made a fresh set of diamond armor. This is the first diamond armor I'm using in the server, so that's pretty cool I guess. Uh, we need to enchant it. I've got 30 levels and I've been sitting here waiting for these skeletons to kind of stack up. So we've got a whole bunch of skeletons in there, I should be able to get maybe up to level 30 again. But uh, let's go ahead and start out with an enchanted chest, oh, I need to do it right here. Diamond chest plate, level 30. Protection 4 and thorns 2, that's actually not bad. Protection 4 is really good and then thorns is just the bonus, so cool. That'll help for the wither, I, I guess, hopefully. Hopefully it works on the wither. Alright, I'm going to keep killing these guys and I will check back with you in a sec when I've got this enchanted. Alright, 30 levels. Let's try my diamond leggings, see what I can get. Level 30, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Protection 4, not bad at all. That's actually kind of what I want. Um, so yeah, let's keep on killing these guys. Alright, so while I was waiting for these guys, I actually found a royal Desmo. He's waiting for me. It looks like he's ready to fight the Wither, except he's not really wearing very good armor. I just barely hit level 30 though. I'm gonna enchant one more thing. I'm not gonna worry about my pants, or my boots for now. So let's get that enchanted. Protection 4 and Respiration 3. Alright, so I've got Protection 4 on all my stuff. Uh, is he shooting my skeletons? I'm gonna get that XP from him. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna leave my boots here though. Let's just throw them right in here. And I'll enchant those another time. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna party up with Royal Desmo on a Skype call. We'll start recording. I also wanna get some uh, potions going. So I will see you guys up at my, uh, up at my storage room and we'll get everything set up. No fear. We are going skyward. We've just begun diving.
world we go with the flow your heart is strong made of gold Well guys, that did not work. Me and Royal Desmo failed so hard and died so many times. The Wither is actually still in our world. We're just staying away from that area as much as we possibly can. But as you can see, I've actually got three more Wither Skulls. I didn't want to leave this episode without actually getting a beacon, so I am determined to get a beacon. So I went, I actually, since I lost that other looting sword, I've done lots of enchantments again. I got another looting three sword, and then I actually got a second looting three sword right there, which is just insane. So I was able to get three more wither skulls after about two hours in the nether. And what we're going to do is we're going to be smart about this. I'm pretty pissed off at the wither, so I want to get my revenge. And I'm going to do that a very slow, painful, torturous way with his brother and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that so let's go to the nether and I will show you what's gonna happen alright so here I am in the nether I'm right outside of my portal and what I did is I mined up just to bedrock right here I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to do so I've got this little area cleared out and this is actually the perfect place I need because I need a 3x3 three three bedrock platform right above me but on top of that I actually need on the center it needs to be open like that and this is the perfect spot I looked around for a little bit and this is where I want to do it it's just right near my portal so that's kinda convenient so what I need to do is go straight down from here and take out this block right here and let's put my piston facing up right there so that's where I'm actually gonna spawn the wither and it needs to be three high so let's go ahead and place the wither just like this wow Oops. And I need to make sure I have a lever right there too. And so I've got the wow, I cannot place this right now. Jeez. Alright, let's put that right there. And then I need to put my skulls on top of here. And then as soon as I spawn the wither, I'm gonna hit this lever. It's gonna push him up into that block. He's gonna get stuck. And he's not gonna be able to actually hurt me because I'll shoot and it'll just hit the bedrock. At least that's the way it should work. I'm really hoping I don't have the same thing happen to me as last time. So let's hope for it. I don't have any good stuff on me except for an iron sword, which isn't that great. And then some steak, which I can dispose of. So here we go. Wither, I hit the button. And he went up. Let's grab my sword and block because he's going to explode real quick. But if all goes well, he'll be completely stuck. Yes! Okay, it worked. So now I can just sit here and hit him. And I thought killing him with an iron sword would be pretty cool. Hopefully it doesn't run out before I kill him. I think we should be okay. He looks like he's dying pretty well. Wow, that's kind of loud though. I'll turn that down for you guys. Oh yeah, he's already halfway health. 
my sword's about halfway gone. I think I can do it though. Come on, come on, give me the nether star. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to make a beacon. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Almost dead. Almost dead. Yes! Yes, we got the nether star. Boom. Victory is mine. Victory is ours. Now, I've still got that other wither in our world, so I'm going to be able to make another nether star once I decide to actually balls up and go fight the other wither. But I lost so many gear last time. So much gear. I lost all of that diamond enchanted armor that I sat and waited to get to level 30. And, like, three diamond swords as well. So I'm pretty bummed about that. But this brought my hopes back. I can make a beacon. And I'm going to make a full-size beacon, put it in here, just probably somewhere around here. Probably just set it, like, on top of that mountain for now. And then I will mine up some of that stuff. And, yeah, so let's go ahead and get that beacon started here. I don't know, maybe I'll just throw it down right here for now. So it's right in the middle of somewhere. I don't remember how big it needs to be, so I'm going to start out with doing 7x7. Seven seven. And then, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, that's good. I think it might be 7x7 seven seven for the big one, but I'm not entirely sure. And it's got to be completely solid blocks. Wow, these iron blocks look amazing. I really want to start building with them. If I could build down there instead of using quartz, use iron and lapis. Ooh, that would look good. Maybe I'll have to do that sometime. Alright, so I've got that layer done. Let's do this layer. And are we even going to have enough blocks? I hope we have enough blocks here. Let's see. Is that what we need to do a haste 2 beacon? Oh, dang. We need one more layer underneath. Let's see if I have enough blocks to do it. A layer underneath. Well, Royal Desmo just offered me two stacks of iron for my diamond sword now it's a looting three sharpness four sword but i really need just enough iron because i don't think i have enough oh my gosh where'd that come from uh okay i'm guessing he's here i just can't see him watch it's oh my gosh it just disappeared i can't see you <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I got my iron, I guess, my two stacks of iron, and I've still got some smelting, so let's go over there so that it can keep smelting, and hopefully I have enough to make some, make my uh, thing, but I don't know if this will still be enough. Oh, there he is. See you, Royal Desmo. Thanks for the trade. All right, so I did a little bit more caving, and I've collected all the blocks that I possibly can, and this is my last shot. I really think that this will be enough, though. So let's try it out here. Let's just make the last little bit of iron. Uh, let's go like that, and then I'll have a couple extra here. Let's go see if this is enough. So I'm gonna be using gold blocks and emerald blocks. They still work. I could even use a diamond blocks. I think I have enough to make like two diamond blocks, but I'm running low on diamonds and I don't really wanna leave them down in here. So let's try this out with the gold and emeralds, and then we'll throw down the rest of iron. And I think we'll actually have enough here to actually do a haste to beacon, which is pretty awesome. Oh, come on. I think we do. Yeah, we do. And I've got three left over. So now what we need to do is I just need to put an iron in and then click on haste. Oh, you know what? It's not activating yet. Am I missing a corner or something? Or does it have to be all the same blocks? Oh, okay, okay, so it's working now. All right, so I do haste and then haste two and then hit done. And boom, haste two, so let's try this out. I've never done this in a survival world, so let's do this. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Now my pick is gonna die pretty soon, so I need to like, uh, I brought this uh, diamond pickaxe. I just made that with some fresh diamonds and I'm gonna combine it with this pickaxe in a minute to to fix it, but I'm gonna do some mining here and I'll show you guys some results in just a little bit. Wow, yeah, that only took like one minute. If that, it was like a 30 seconds of mining. No, it was probably a couple minutes, but still. This haste two is amazing. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna heal up my pick here. Uh, I think if I put that one second, it's only, okay, so 29, what's this? 35, so if I do it like this, it'll give me 29 levels. Efficiency five, unbreaking three. Oh yeah, so let's keep working.
Well, I have done a lot of work now. As you guys can see, my pickaxe is about halfway done. And so now what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna do this platform. Now I haven't gotten this completely thought out, but I have tried, oh geez, I forgot about just owning everything. <laughs> But I have found uh, one design that I really, really like, and it's actually one that wasn't commented, but I kind of came up with it by the comments. So a lot of people did comment on using the nether brick and using quartz half slabs, and that does look really good, but uh, I don't have a lot of quartz. I do have enough to do it, but I'm not sure if I want to use quartz on it because it is so bright against the nether brick that it doesn't look too good. It's a little bit blinding. So I tried out sandstone slabs and I think I really like it actually. So let's go ahead and use this, see how it looks completely filled up. Oh well, some of those will be like that. So I'm just going to go like this and just keep going around and uh, basically reach the end I guess. Alright, so I've got the entire place completely laid out, and it looks pretty cool, especially when you're on the same level, but you're looking from the side of it. I think it looks awesome. It's kind of trippy, it kind of gives me a headache, but I'm going to get used to it, and I think it's awesome. So let's try going around with quartz slabs. I want to see what this looks like with it. I'm not entirely sure what it'll look like. I may end up taking this down and just doing something else like stone bricks, but I just want to see what it looks like and try it out. Well, that's what that looks like. I'm not entirely sure if I like it or not. I'm trying to figure that out because it is super bright and it's kind of a weird contrast because it's not very textured. So it's really hard to tell, you know, if it's going to look good or not. Hmm. You know what I'm kind of considering is actually doing stone brick stairs around here and make it so that they all connect. I think that might look pretty cool. Let's try that. Hmm. I think that's it. I really like that. The one thing I want to do is actually around all of these blocks just add an actual stone brick block behind it. And I think that would be the perfect border around this entire thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Yep, I think that looks pretty good. Now that's going to be pretty much how it's going to be. I might change it up a little bit, maybe switch out the stairs for half slabs, maybe quartz slabs or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'll do all of that off camera just in between uh, this episode and next episode. Try out some other things, but this is how I like it for now. I think it looks really awesome. I'm definitely going to keep the floor how it is. I'm really liking this texture. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. We are about out of time, and it's been kind of a longer episode, so if you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button so that I know you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I know you guys are enjoying this type of thing, and also drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know, uh, you know, what types of things you liked in the video, that kind of stuff. Uh, ooh, that beacon goes all the way up there. But yeah, let, drop a comment, let me know things also what you want me to build. I have seen a couple comments of things that you guys want me to build, like an automatic wheat farm and melon farm. So maybe I'll try some of those things in the future episodes pretty soon here. I do have a few more plans of things that I want to get done. For one, I want to get down, get, uh, start working on a house right there. I'm not sure when I'm going to work on that yet. Uh, and then there are a few other farms I want to make. I want to make a witch farm, and I want to make... Uh, a blaze experience farm so those are some things to look forward to coming up in the the coming episodes but that is it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the future episodes i know some of you guys will just check back to our channel regularly and uh, just watch the videos but i mean if you don't have a, a youtube account just make one it's pretty easy and you can subscribe and you get a notification every time we upload a video also go check out royal desmos let's play he's doing basically the same thing over at his place building a castle and his wall is looking pretty awesome so i would definitely go watch his last episode but uh yeah this is going to be it i'm so glad i was able to get that beacon even though i went through hell and back trying to get the first beacon but that is it for the episode thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all next time